Hi kings, queens and non-binary royals. My name is Rebecca and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about reframing anxiety. Um, in my last video I talked a little bit about how to reframe it but today I'm going to talk about also how to manage it. Um, I talk a lot about reframing um, anxiety and the intellectual side of anxiety. And that's because I, and I notice, I notice I and a lot of people seem to personally identify with uh, our anxiety or with our mental health disorders, um, with our anxiety, with our depression, with our panic disorders, you name it, we think it's part of who we are. Um, but that is because um, what, what we have is a disorder and that is so powerful and sometimes it can control our life to the point where we think it's part of who we are but it's not it's a part of who we are of course but it's not who we are so for me it's really important to intellectually reframe it um, especially anxiety because it's it's something that is in the mind um, so it really helps me and I've heard it helps others to Reframe it in a way that gives you power back, that gives you some control over, over it and not it over you. So three tips to manage this, um, intellectual tips, not physical tips for anxiety. Uh, number one, I think that you should just really feel how you're feeling right now. Um, that might seem really obvious like Rebecca, I feel this all the time. I, I'm trying not to feel this way. Um, duh, it's anxiety. I do nothing but feel anxious. Um, and I hear that, but I mean feel how you feel right now. In a sense that without judgment, without judging yourself, judging your anxiety, without... Um, without resisting it. So I want you to feel everything you're feeling, whether that's anxiety, anger, sadness, um, grief, and let it out. So let it out in a physical sense, um, not on somebody or on anything, but really feel all of your anxiety. It's okay, it's okay that you're anxious. And then let it out on a pillow, maybe like punch a pillow if you have an, like a, a really physical anxiety or cry for hours. I just feel that a lot of us were not really allowed to feel ang anxious or we don't allow ourselves to be this human. And especially right now, it's incredibly normal to feel anxious. Um, so feel it, stop, stop running from it, stop um, resisting it and stop wishing that it wasn't there because when you wish that it wasn't there, it's, it's not gonna do anything except come back stronger because you're not, um, you're not accepting it. So what we resist persists. And if you have this emotion, it needs somewhere to go because emotion is energy in motion and you need to have an outlet of which to express this energy, whether that's um, physically, really helps physically, like exercising. I know that sounds like one of the most basic things people always say to us, but it really, really helps your mental state al along with your body and mind. Um, and, or if it, maybe it's journaling, maybe that's what you feel called to do. Maybe that's how you express yourself. So I just want you to know that it's okay to feel, just to feel what you feel and not make excuses for it and not make apologies for it because it's incredibly normal, especially right now. And um, whatever feels natural to you, just let it out. Let out everything that you're feeling, um, which brings my to my next point, which is kind of the same as the first point, um, but I feel like I need to reiterate it. It's okay to feel anxious. It's okay to feel however you're feeling right now. 
I don't know if people are telling you, I don't know what people are telling you in your life, but it's okay to feel however you feel. Wherever that's anger, sadness, anxious, depressed, hopeless, um, I'm all for seeing the positive sides of things, but you cannot fully embrace positivity unless you have accepted the pain that you're in um, because when you resist it, it, it's really just a false positivity that you're trying to pretend, pretend to be okay. So right now in this space, I want you to feel I'm giving you permission, not that you need my permission, but out loud, sometimes we're not told, we're not telling each other this, but I'm giving you permission to feel as down as you want, as sad as you want, as angry as you want to feel. Really let it out and really without abandon and also without judgment on yourself. Um, because I don't think many of us really give ourselves credit for all the things that we go through, especially now. Um, you don't need to be productive right now. You don't need to come out of this quarantine with new skills or new <laughs> languages or new degrees. The whole world is collectively going through a grieving stage and you too, all of us are. People have lost their jobs, they have lost plans, they have lost holidays, weddings, births, and people have lost their loved ones and it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be anxious about it. Um, trying to pretend that you don't feel that way really just makes it worse. Um, you have to, you cannot transcend pain until you have accepted it. So that's my second tip or advice or general hug that I want you to feel I want to give you permission as your friend to feel however you want to feel and don't feel bad about it just don't set up camp there okay it's okay to visit but do not set up if you can don't set up camp in these um, hopeless states. But it's totally normal to be there. We're all there with you. You're not alone. Third thing for managing, mm, intellectually reframing our anxiety and managing it is I, I advise you to get a journal and write every single thing that you feel down. I personally have like four journals. I have like a scripting journal, a personal journal, a wish journal. I love journals. I love to write everything down. Or you could make a voice journal, whatever. But have a place that you can go to write how you feel. It is incredibly good for your health. It's incredibly calming for your mind. And it's incredibly beneficial to explore your anxiety out loud and down on paper. And just remember that nobody is going to see it. And it feels weird for everybody to write in journals. It feels weird. Like Harriet the Spy. I don't know if you know Harriet the Spy, but it's really good. It's a really good child film. So yeah. So feel whatever you want to feel. <laughs> it's okay to feel how you're feeling. Um, have an outlet for it, like journaling. Really, really helpful. And um, you're not alone in this. That's another tip. Um, yeah, so I hope any of these has helped you and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy.